Hi everybody, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts. Um, let me just uh, zoom out for you because my camera can't. Right, okay, there we go. Right, uh, so what I've got here for you, and I know I'm not going to be doing painting by numbers, so please ignore this part. Um, what I actually want to do is I'm going to make um, like um, a notice, like a padded notice board. Um, I looked everywhere. Um, for canvas um, uh, artist canvas basically and they were really really expensive in like proper art shops so I had a bit of a hunt around and I found this one in a pound store or um, what the Americans call uh, dollar stores um, so, but this one obviously had a picture on it but that wasn't and it was a nice sort of size I didn't want to make a big one um, I'm not worried about the fact that it's got a picture on it. I was quite happy to pay a pound for it because the picture was going to be covered up. And then walking a bit further down in the same store, I found one that was also a pound that was, which was an artist camera, uh, canvas, and it and it was a bit bigger, and that was also a pound. Um, but what I'm going to work on tonight is the small one because the bigger one is going to be a little bit hard for you to um, uh, see me working with. So I'm going to work on this one this evening. So I'm going to take my scissors, take this off. I mean these are great for the kids anyway but I mean I obviously didn't want it so and you would be bored out your brains watching me painting little Leo the lion. <laughs> so um, yeah I just thought it was a really nice size. Okay, um, I really did um, think right what colour am I going to do um, I, I got some really really lovely um, material but it had like diamonds on it and there was a lot of um, fussy cut in, in as much as I would have to make sure that the diamonds weren't covered up um, otherwise it would have just looked a mess so instead I went for um, plain um, satin so um, I also need got some um, foam. Now this is not the same as the foam padding. You can still use it, but this is a lot better if you're padding flat things like this rather than um, the uh, the other other stuff in stuff. Because if I use if I use this stuff, it would give an an uneven uh, feel to it, and I want an even feel. Um, so I've already cut this to size because I'm sure you don't want to sit here watching me cutting it to size. Um, this is an 8mm uh, um, thickness. You can get all different from uh, sizes from two. I think it was the biggest one they had in the shop. And um, if you haven't, if you can't get hold of the thicker one, then you can always double up anyway, so that's no biggie. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got my hot glue gun. So I'm really sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Lion, but I'm gonna just going to Put some glue all the way around the outside of my bear, uh, bear lions, <laughs> my canvas, I should say. Okay, and then I'm going to place this on top. Okay, now that just keeps it, just keeps it in place. There we go. Okay, and it's as, as easy as that. So if you've got, also as well, if you go to a car boot and you, some, some people, I've got a, a bigger one over there, which is um, a great big flower, that, but it's got, um, it's a big flower, but they've accidentally got a tea stain on it and it's a canvas. Um, I picked it up for a pound as well, I think, but it's a lot, it's a lot bigger. Um, so you don't need to go out and buy the brand new ones. I just wanted a smaller one so I could show you guys. Um, what I'm doing but um, you can pick canvases you know it doesn't matter if they're damaged because as long as the um, actual wooden bit is fine um, you know <laughs> it doesn't matter what's on this side because you're going to cover it anyway okay so so I've, I've actually cut this so it's um, to the edge you can if you wanted to if you wanted it more padded all the way around um, but I didn't okay so what I'm going to do I've cut my satin I would have ironed it first a little bit but I'm sure with the heat and everything it will it will uh, flatten out. I've cut it a little bit bigger than obviously 
Um, so, because um, what I want to do is uh, staple this, and I can trim it off afterwards to here. Okay, so um, I'm going to try and sort of like do this quite neatly. Um, I'm just going to pull this in, pull this side in, and you'll have to excuse me if I have to stand up because I don't know if I am. I might be able to do it sitting down, I don't know. I haven't got very good. Um, let's try and. Uh, which is the best way to uh, to do the corner so I don't have a, um, have a, a bit well either way I do it I'm going to have a bit I'm just going to pull that quite tight and then pull that over there now I got my staple gun um, I don't know if you can use an all ordinary staple. I have seen people using them. Just uh, I only paid five pound, and that included the staples from the range. So I mean, I'm sure you can pick them up. Um, so just uh, staple that side in there. These are brilliant. They're good for if you want to change your decor in your kitchen, your chairs, and everything. All you got to do is, um, you know, uh, change the covers. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so I'm just going to do this side as well. And like I said, I'm going to trim this afterwards. So I just want to bring that in and staple that, staple that in there. Okay, so I'm going to turn that round so you can still see. Actually, I could have taken their staples out and then maybe I wonder if I could do that and it doesn't matter if I because uh, I think that one's not just, just bear with me I'm just going to pause you a minute while I take these staples out 